Some people hate the cold of winter, others embrace it, and a few, like Melissa Curlin, are actually allergic to it. It's called cold urticaria. And then, like, you're allergic to what? It is possible for people to become allergic to the cold. My ears would get numb. Um, they'd feel like they were kind of burning when I came back. She'd also get hives and worse. When temperatures drop below 45 degrees, she must bundle up. Heavy caught mittens. It's not just cold air. Melissa can't swim in cold water. She can't eat ice cream or drink cold liquids. You know, my throat would just close up, swell up. And that can be dangerous. Uh, with extreme cold exposure or total body exposure, there can be a massive release of histamine and significant body swelling, even drop of, uh, in blood pressure, and this could be a life-threatening situation. Melissa must even be careful with air conditioning. For her, the cold acts just like any allergen, triggering the immune system to release histamines and other chemicals. This causes the affected skin to become inflamed, red, itchy, and swollen. And if it happens in the throat, she could be in trouble. Melissa takes antihistamines every day and carries an epinephrine auto-injector. You can find out if you're allergic to the cold by taking the ice test. I've had this ice pack on my forearm for a few minutes now. It's a little painful, but if I were allergic to cold, the skin here would be red and raised. Melissa's skin was. She now enjoys the winter weather from the inside looking out. With Everyday Health, I'm Stephanie Sai.